back to the 100th running of the Zazzle Beta Breakers on Cron 4. Presented by Xfinity from Comcast. Here are your hosts, Pam Moore and Gary Radnich. All right, as the official introducer of Jacqueline Bennett, I'm proud to do it one more time. She is out there, the uh, great weather reporter for Cron. You can see her at 4, 5, 6, 11, soon to be at 8. Heck, if she get up in the morning, she could do the seven hours there, too. The versatile Jacqueline Bennett. Jacqueline. Gary, let's not go crazy here. All right, well, we've got a couple of people here who are very excited for the 100th running of the Beta Breakers. Here, let's turn them around here for a second. This is Christine and Catherine. Take a look at their T-shirts. They've got the 100. Oh, they're mixing up here. 100th year, and they're in the happy birthday costumes up from up north. So, Christine, tell me a little bit about the race. You said that you saw a lot more costumes for the beginning of the race, not so much towards the end right here. Yeah, the beginning and the end, the end a lot more coming up from the end because uh, they're just having a lot of good times and partying and uh, enjoying the day. So the big party's back at the, the start line, but how's it been coming through at this point? Oh, it's been great. Just been uh, really energizing and uh, just a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. Yeah, this is the fifth year you said you've run this race, yeah? Okay, well, how does this compare to some of the years past? Uh, just a little bit quieter because, you know, they had talked about uh, they were going to enforce the uh, no nudity, no drinking, but other than that, um, everybody's just a uh, little bit laying low, but other than that, having a good time. And it seems like the weather is finally starting to cooperate. Wasn't it real cold? I mean, you're in these uh, T-shirts here. Weren't you real cold during the start of the race? Right. Not with all the bodies around us. There's so many. <laughs> that helps. And in the running a little bit, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. Keep moving. Keep well, moving. thank you both, and have a good rest of the day. Let's go over to Henry on Hay Street Hill. All right. <laughs> Well, as you can see, it's come to us crashing crawl here on Hayes Street Hill. I think this kind of sums it up. We have here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Sat what happened to Sunday? Here's Sunday over here. We have these two folks have got a an official race confessional. We're here, we're here to uh, support the fine citizens of San Francisco and confessing their sins. So the way this works is people are coming up and confessing their sins in past beta breakers. Like That's what? right. We're trying to support the city. And I want to do a shout out to my fellow confessionals in Berkeley in South San what Francisco. What kind of sins? Come on, don't give us oh, that. What kind no, of sins? That's what we want to know. We've had 31, girl, 31 girls yeah. and 31 guys on a race. Or people who had sex in Golden Gate Park. Oh, no. That's horrible. That's the worst you've come up with. Uh, you, better get, you better get back to work. And by the way, don't forget to give, you know, lots of forgiveness because a lot of people here are going to need it uh, and they're going to feel it tomorrow. Okay, uh, Vicki, what day of the week would you like? I'm enjoying Tuesday, actually. Vicki? Yeah, Henry, I can barely hear you. Listen, I just found the Beta Breakers police because we have found an, an illegal float here, have we not, sir? No, we've not found a float. This is not a float. Uh, Apparently the only float in Beta Breakers because we know that they have been outlawed, but we found one, and it's right here, the sobriety tent, and here is the nurse who will be attending uh, the sobriety tent. In the meantime, of course, we've got all kinds of fruits and vegetables, things that are good for you, a bad baby, an 88-year-old who's running, 88 years old, and wait, one final shot here because we want to make sure that there's some food for thought. Anybody hungry? We have absolutely Chow down. All right, we need to wind it down here, but Pam and uh, Gary, it's been a lot of fun out here. In fact, the folks all say they want to come visit you in the studio, so we'll be by in a matter of minutes. Right, guys? Uh, all right. Great. That'd be fun. There. Let's just hang around till they get here. Ed, you want to stick with us? And I'm here for the duration. <laughs> you know, you kidding? Ed's on a flight in two hours. Back to Utah. But let, let, let's do the final three again. A lot of people, like I said, just flipping around. They got up. The men's division, Ed? Ridwan Harufi with a masterful strategic race. Uses his sprint finish at the end to win. Big payday for him. $37,000 with the 25000 for Battle of the Breakers, the 7000 for being the first man, and then the 5000 preem at the top of the Hay Street Hill. Mm -hmm. Second place was Dariba Murga, the Ethiopian, who did much of the work for most of the race until getting out kicked. And then third, coming up fast and closing well, Alan Kiprono uh, runs a good race but uh, leaves a little too much uh, at the end. And on the women's side? On the women's side, we saw Lina Chepkurui run a great race. 
three-time champion now. She won it last year and set the course record. She did much of the work for most of the race, but then had the finishing speed at the end. She wins, holding off Amitu Daska from Ethiopia and in third place, Jelaya Tanega. Yeah, any reason why, again, going into our research, Pam and I, in 86, when you were the last American to win, why you asked for the money in cash? <laughs> A tax thing yet? No, no. Uh, I was I was happy to be here. I was happy to get. Any, I, I was just out of college, so I, I was happy to get anything. No, I love it. it. And Pam, he makes the thing. Yeah, You've we're been so glad to have you here yeah, and help yeah. us uh, to analyze all the runners. Yeah. And certainly, you work with ESPN and all the other Fox the Sports, the Olympics. Yeah. I mean, Ed, so we're really happy to have it you join us here. as always. Will you uh, be we coming wanna... back next year, Ed? If you'll have me. Well, <laughs> we want to make sure that all of our viewers also know that you can get complete coverage of the race today on Cronford.com. You'll be able to find the pictures of the costumes that you're interested in seeing and as well as all the race information that you like. And also, Cronford is going to replay the highlights of this special 100th running of the Zazzle Beta Breakers. That's coming up at 7 o'clock tonight for those of you who didn't get mm -hmm. to see it earlier. It really was at an exciting oh. finish, wasn't it? I think it was, both the men's side and women's side. Sprint mm -hmm. finishes at yeah. the end. Fantastic. And I want to give our producer, Jim Swanson, to give you those up-close pictures like that Absolutely. on an event like this. It's really hard to get that that picture as tight yeah. as he did. So it thanks to Vern and all fabulous. the crew out in the field. Fabulous. And thanks to all of you for joining us for this very special Centennial Beta Breakers. We'll see you next time.